What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel, hope you're all doing well out there. Uh, we've got a few items of news to look at from the last week or so, and a few in the upcoming week, so let's get going. First up, Iron Man VR. So Iron Man VR has received a new patch, which has added new weapons, new game modes, um, so you've got the game mode plus, so you can continue through the game with your power-ups when you finish the main story, and most important of all we've seen improved loading times so this was one of the big complaints of the original game that it had some pretty lengthy loads in between levels and uh, quite frequent loads as well uh, so this new patch has managed to in places halve the loading times shaved off a good 30 or 40 seconds which is it's quite impressive um, still some quite long loading times you're still looking at maybe 30 to 60 seconds for some of the levels uh, something they've also also done, they've added a mini-game during the loading, so that will kind of take your mind off the loading speed and act as a bit of a distraction. So all in all, well worth revisiting, uh, particularly if you're getting tired of the long load times. Some people might argue you still find some of the levels a bit repetitive, uh, so if you don't like the main gameplay loop, then this isn't going to change that much. Okay, so also released a couple of days ago was Vader Immortal. So this is the three episode Star Wars Spectacular, which uh, first released on PC on the Oculus Quest. Uh, you can't buy them episodically, you have to buy the whole thing. It's £21.99 on the UK store, uh, it's around $30 on the US store. Pretty good value for money, you think that's, that's about £7 an episode. Well worth it, particularly if you're a Star Wars fan. Uh, as I think we all knew beforehand, it is, it's a bit more of an experience. Um, than a fully fledged game although as well as the story driven main game uh, it does come with dojo levels in each episode uh, which are effectively high score chasing mini games uh, where you're using your lightsaber force all the, all the elements that you learn in the main story game uh, effectively they've got infinite replayability uh, if you're particularly a score chaser and you want to beat your scores as we knew from the original PC version it's not the longest game in the world. Each of the three episodes is approximately 45 minutes to an hour. Uh, it's fairly linear, so you know there's not a lot of exploring to do, or, or you're not going off track. Um, it's enjoyable though. It has some kind of pivotal Star Wars characters and, and moments. You get a chance to use lightsabers, which is great. The lightsabers feel really good. Um, so it's fun just to play around with those, to be honest. Later on you obviously get to use more powers like the force and your lightsabers. So it mixes that up a bit, keeps it fresh. Now there have been a few bugs with Vader Immortal. Uh, it doesn't appear to be any smooth locomotion. Whether this was intentional or not isn't yet known. There are a couple of locomotion options in the menu, but switching between those doesn't actually seem to change much at all. Uh, the original PC version, there wasn't full locomotion all the time. There were only select sections where you had freedom of locomotion. Um, but hopefully they'll patch that into the PS4 anyway as an option. That would be appreciated. A few bugs where you get stuck in the scenery. Uh, a few glitches with the sound. But overall pretty polished. Um, and definitely, as we've said, if you're a Star Wars fan, it's a great experience. A quick Beat Saber update next. Uh, obviously we saw recently the Linkin Park music pack released. Which is a great music pack, by the way. Obviously, particularly if you're a fan of the music. But even if not, there's some good maps. There's a nice new environment there. Uh, all set in a tunnel, so it's quite different to the, the environments of the other music packs and levels. There's also 11 songs, so it's quite substantial. So, recommended. Beat Saber's also had a very small update recently, uh, which is it's not of massive interest, but it has improved some of the lighting. So they've added, I think, four light sources now instead of two that were there previously. So, uh, yeah, worth checking out. Okay, next up we've got Drunken Bar Fight. Now this was supposed to have received its Black Friday update which was going to add new levels, characters and uh, weapons and so on. Uh, it was supposed to have re released on Friday the 21st. Uh, this has now been delayed and put back by at least a week. So it may be that we will see that at the end of this week uh, if nothing else goes wrong. Uh, supposedly that was just to improve some of the quality of the release and make some tweaks. So we'll keep an eye out for that. If it does release this week then we will have a little go on that and we'll try and release some footage on the channel so you can see that. Uh, the Black Friday update was going to add a new environment, um, a shop level during the Black Friday sales, uh, which is going to include new characters and some new items or weapons that you can use. 
uh, as well as some new dialogue that's been recorded. We'll keep you posted on that. Next up we've got Affected the Manor, uh, which has been out for a while. Uh, it's kind of like a haunted house type thing, just a walkthrough experience. Now it's had an update on the Oculus Quest for a little while now, uh, which was called The Gauntlet, which had a kind of a run through race against the clock uh, through the haunted house type environment. Uh, this hasn't come out on PSVR as yet, but there are signs that this is going to be coming out soon potentially. Uh, the developer has had some mysterious updates on their Twitter feed, uh, which point to possibly the Gauntlet update coming out on PSVR. Not 100% confirmed, but again, we'll keep you posted on that. Okay, next up, quick update on Wraith the Oblivion Afterlife, uh, which is a game coming out from Fast Travel Games, who were the developers of Apex Construct, which was a really well-received VR game. It actually came out a few years ago now. Uh, how time flies. So Wraith the Oblivion Afterlife is really the first major game from Fast Travel Games since Apex Construct. Um, potentially going to be a really good one, good developer. Now they are due to release a new gameplay trailer uh, later today, August the 27th. Not a lot known about it aside from it being a VR horror game, uh, so it'll be, it'll be interesting to get a bit more detail from the gameplay trailer. And we will post news as and when we get it. Okay, next up we've got some Pistol Whip news. This is the Rhythm Action Shooter, which was released recently on PSVR. Uh, had been released previously on PC. This is shortly going to be receiving a new Heartbreaker update on PC, uh, which we're promised will shortly follow on PSVR. It's going to be a free update, and this includes three new scenes, so I think we can assume three new songs, um, two new modifiers, and again, it's going to be a free update. Uh, it's got a bit more of a chilled kind of summer vibe to it this one so it'll be interesting to see really great game uh, particularly if you're a rhythm action fan um, it's kind of different to beat saber in a way because it's a little less structured you, you get bonus points for shooting in time with the music but you don't have to so you can kind of find your own technique and style with it so highly recommended and it's currently got 15 songs i think uh, so with these these three new songs, you're looking at 18, and then further down the line, uh, the developer has a roadmap to do another update in a few months, so that will add more music. So it's growing well, and recommended. Even the base package with 15 songs is really great, so uh, give it a shot. Okay, that's it for this news update. We'll be back soon with some more videos and more news. If you found this useful and you want more of the same, if you've not yet subscribed, then please do hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you know when we release a new video. Take care and bye for now.